Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about end chapter problem 1.14 from Mr. Chapman's book of electrical machines. Now the question I will discuss uh, each one as we go along. Let's look at the circuit. This dimension of the three sides are same width 10 cm and depth is 5 cm. This has a width different 5 cm and depth also 5 cm. 1000 uh, tons and assume a 5% increase in effective air gap area to account for fringing. So I hope you know what is fringing. Uh, when the magnetic flux passes through the air gap, it expands in the open area, it goes like this. So the area gets increased and that increase in area is 5%. That is what uh, we have to take care of here. Okay, now the first part or part A, how much current is required to produce an air gap flux density of 0.5 Tesla. So the flux density in the air gap is given 0.5 Tesla or Weber's per meter square and we have to find the current uh, that is required to produce this flux density. So this was the formula we had discussed earlier also that the MMM uh, magnetomotive force is equal to number of turns into current. So from here current will be uh, MMF total or F total divided by M. So uh, all we need to do is find the total magnetomotive force in this circuit. Now this could be best understood if you go to the electrical equivalent circuit. So this is the source. The reactance uh, of this part, a reluctance rather, of this part is R and I have named it A, B, C, D. In the solution manual he is using a slightly different technique. I feel this is more comfortable R, A, B, C, D. Then we have the reluctance of this part, A, D. So R A D and also we have reluctance of the air gap, this to be treated separately. So this is R gap or in the book it is saying R A G, it's all the same. Now if we compare it with an electrical circuit, similar circuit, here we have the voltage source E, this is the voltage drop B, A B C D, this is voltage drop B A D, here voltage drop B gap. Then by KVL we can write that E is equal to V A B C D, this voltage, plus this voltage, plus this voltage drop. Exactly same technique we will follow here to find the MMF drops. So F total is F A B C D here and then F A D and then F gap. Okay, now to find F, we will use another formula that we have already learned also that F is can be written as H into LC where H is the magnetic field intensity and LC is the core length, mean core length. So, we can say that F total can be written as H A B C D for F A B C D, H A B C D into L A B C D. For this we'll write H A D L A D and for the gap we'll write H gap into L gap. Now these two are for the magnetic uh, metal, metal parts. This part is metal. This part is also metal. And the third one is for the air part, air gap. So the metal parts H can be calculated with the help of this graph if we know the flux density. And for air gap, we will have to use a different formula. So first of all, we will try to find out the flux density in these areas. Okay, we can calculate the H metal from the graph if you know the B, uh, flux density B. Given the flux density, the gap is 0 0.5 T for the air gap. So the flux density is given here. So from here, uh, we can calculate the total fl uh, flux. Because density multiplied by the area will give us the flux. So to find B matter, we have to find the 
flux first of all and then dividing by the area we can find the um, um, B metal. From this we can calculate the total flux phi in the system which will be used to calculate the other flux densities in the core. And the flux formula is phi is B into A area effective. B for the air gap is given 0 0.5 T. Area of the air gap, is, you can see the area, this is width is 5 centimeter, depth is 5 centimeter. And so the area will be 5 into 5, but there is an increase of 5% due to uh, fringing effect. So we have to multiply it by 1.05. So this is our total flux. Okay, so we found total flux. Now, same flux is flowing all the way whether it is an open area, width more, width less. So dividing the flux by area, we can now find the density of that particular wing or side. So BAD, the flux density of AD is the flux divided by the area. Now area here is 5 centimeter by 5 centimeter. Converting into meters, it will be 0 0.05 multiplied by 0 0.05. So this is B A uh, for the A D part and from the graph now we can calculate uh, the H. So for 5 to 4 we can calculate it to be 410. So H A D is 410. Similarly for these three arms B, A, B, C, D, the flux remains same divided by the area. The area here is different, the width is 10 and the depth is 5. So in meter converting into meter and dividing we get this to be the uh, flux density. Plugging in here we can find uh, the H or intensity to be 240. So H A B C D is 240 ampere turns per meter. So we have found H, we have found uh, H A B C D, we have found H A D. Now we need to find the H for air gap. Now this is given that the B for air gap is 0 0.5, how much will be the H? So for that we'll use this formula that B A G is equal to mu naught which is the permeability of the air multiplied by Hg from here Hg will be B over mu naught B is 0 0.5 mu naught for air is always this value 4 pi 10 to the power minus 7 so Hag is 398 kilo just keep in mind this is a very big number kilo ampere times per meter Okay, now we'll try to plug in into this formula. We had calculated this to be 240 ampere turns. What is the area? Now look, in the solution manual, uh, he has made a mistake. We go from here. Up to this part is half of 5, so 2.5. Then is 30, so 32.5. And from here up to this point is half of 10, that is 5. So it is 37.5 centimeter and BC is half of 10, 5, 30 and half of 10, so this is 40, so 40 centimeter and CD is similarly 37.5 centimeter. Converting these into meters, we get this result. So this is for this part, FABCD. Similarly, HAD we had calculated 410. The area, uh, sorry, the length is 40 centimeter from here to here. Half of 10, 30, then half of 10. So multiplied by uh, 0.4 meters. And the third part was the air gap. So air gap was 398. So 398 kilo ampere ton. So while doing calculation, you should actually multiply this by 1000. 
and the air gap converted into meter will be 0 0.0006 meter. So solving, we get this answer 678.8 ampere turn. And now that we have the total uh, MMF, we can find the current by using this formula. So turns are 100 turns. So the answer will be 0 0.6788, sorry, 1000 turns. Okay, so this is the answer of the first part. Now we come to the answer of the second part. What are the flux densities of the four sides of the core? at that current. So we had already calculated flux densities. So let's just recall what we had calculated. We had calculated flux density for AD, this part, 5 to 4, and we had calculated the flux density for all this area. And since the dimensions are same, therefore BAB uh, or BCD and BD, uh, BC will be same to 6 to 5, so we can write it like this, B right or B A B A D, same thing, this is 5 to 4, and B top, B left, B bottom, is just plugging in the same thing, it will be 0 0.262 Tesla. And finally, what is the total flux present in the air gap? This also we had calculated total flux, so this was the formula that we calculated. Uh, f for the air gap and the same flux is all around, therefore this is the answer. I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.